from the soul with it. What's going on everybody, the Isle of Ricks coming to you live with yet another video. If you're new to the channel, please be sure to click that subscribe button. Also, don't forget to hit that notification bell so you can be a part of that notification. Squat, squat, squat. So I'd like to talk to y'all about Little Bow Wow. You just don't know the way you move so fast across the floor. Bow Wow claims that he dated Kim Kardashian way before she became super popular like she is now. We talking about before Reggie Bush. We talk about before Chris Humphreys. We talk about before the sex tape with Reggie. We talk about before she got with Kanye and had the babies. And now she got her modeling thing. She got her own TV show and everything. We talking about way before that. We talking about back in her prime. When before everybody knew about Bow Wow saying that you know, he dated her, they had sex, they did these things, he was nervous, he didn't know whether he wanted to talk to her or not, all this stuff, right? So the Twitter world has been destroying Bow Wow all over the internet. As the saying goes, the internet is undefeated. They can't stop us, bro. You feel me? So Bow Wow's clearly upset, bro. He's in his feelings, you know. And this is usual. Everybody, you got people up here like, oh, my God, Bow Wow, stop. You never, you never dated Kim Kardashian. You never. But actually, to be honest, I actually believe Bow Wow. I do think that Bow Wow used to date Kim Kardashian. Now, I understand that y'all seen Bow Wow frauding with the airplane. I know y'all seen Bow Wow frauding with the fake money time after time. But niggas don't always lie, bruh. And I know it's hard to believe it because of all the patterns he gave you, bruh. But the man, I don't believe the guy this time, bruh. I believe him, bruh. You know, see, people, this is my point where I try to, this is where I, exactly what I'm saying. When I say people believe in hype, bro. Before Kim Kardashian, now it's like, oh, he couldn't have dated Kim Kardashian because she's Kim Kardashian now. You know, they look at something now, and that's just like somebody who could have dated before they became who they are. They'd be like, oh, I, you didn't, that person didn't date you. Or they'd look at that person and be like, you know, back in the day, you would never would have talked to that person. But then all of a sudden, you know, and they could be with somebody back then, like their baby mother, they could have been with her. And that was the only female that really, you know, had interest in him at the time. And no other female really had no interest in him, didn't find him attractive at all. And she could have, like, just been kind of brushed the dude off, like, I don't want your number, I don't want to talk to you, woo dee woo whatever. So he probably was like, you know what I'm saying, then when the person glow up and start blowing up, then all the girls be like, oh, my God, oh, my God, look at him, look at him, woo dee woo oh, listen, they be all on him. But it's like, as soon as you get this level of fame, you glow up. And now all of a sudden it become impossible to talk to Kim Kardashian. Like like Kim Kardashian became this all of a sudden just became this queen. Oh, she's not a royal she's not a hoe anymore. She's a royal queen. No, bruh. Bow Wow probably got the cheeks. My only problem with Bow Wow is you just don't know. The way you move. My only problem with Bow Wow, you going in front of the world, bruh, telling everybody, oh, I hit this person, man. I hit that's the Baxter back in the day, bruh. Sierra Marie, I hit Sierra, bruh. She took my virginity, bruh. I did. Bruh, you tell that to your homies. You don't go out there and kiss and tell and tell everybody. I understand this, but Bow Wow didn't come from the urban community. He didn't come from the hood, so he don't know, like, what to do and what not to do. He think that's cool, but that's why Bow Wow career went the wrong way. When Bow Wow start saying, start trying to act tough, use the nigga, start saying the N-word, start flexing his chest out, and he trying to, he, he been looked at as a kid, star his whole life, so he trying to prove a point, oh man, I do this, bro, I do this, and then that's when everybody was like, nah, bro, we know, we can read right through that, bro, you ain't about that, you ain't come from that, so we already know, bro, so stop, you won't bust a grape in a fruit fight, Bow Weezy, stop it, bro, so we already knew what Bow Wow was about, so do I think that Bow Wow hit Kim Kardashian before she became the famous Kim Kardashian now? Before she was naked on, before she was naked on Kanye West's bike, before she started posting naked pictures 
on magazines and stuff like that? Absolutely. I don't put it past you. You got to remember, Bow Wow was more famous than Kim Kardashian. So it's understand. It's believable. Why wouldn't you believe that? I mean, it's I mean, clearly, bro, like. If you don't know who Bow Wow was, you don't understand. Even even Bow Wow coming off, let's say, let's 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 even forget about the little Bow Wow. I'm talking about the little little Bow Wow. Let's talk about when Bow Wow got older, bro. He still had movies out. You see what I'm saying? Like he still was in Roll Bounce. He still was in other movies, so he was relevant. So he was still making money, you know. So Kim Kardashian was trying to get a name. So she was trying to sleep with every celebrity that she can. I'm pretty sure her mother probably went to Bow Wow with the other celebrities. Like, I will pay you. This is before Ray J. I will pay you to make a sex tape with my daughter just to make her famous so we can get on. But Bow Wow probably was like, no, nah, I just want to hit, bro. I wouldn't put it past it, dog. I won't put it past it one bit, bro. She's the thought, bro. She wants a thought, always a thought, bro. That's it, bro. In this world, this how the world works, bro. And I, and I tell young dudes this all the time. I tell everybody this all the time. In this world, it works like this. You got old thoughts. You got young thoughts. Either way, it's a thought. Glad to give you guys some powerful advice. Make sure y'all get in that comment box. Like, share, subscribe. Out. Ain't no M's in my bank account, but it's in my gold. I say fuck being broke, boy that shit is getting old. If she throw that pussy at me, I'ma catch it cause I'm open. I ain't talking USC when I say I keep the Trojans. Ain't no shame in my shit from the struggle to the top. Got no milk, fuck it, eat the sippery, go straight out the box. <laughs>